So I guess the one thing is that um, this isn't just about George Floyd. It's about Emmett Till. It's about Breonna Taylor. It's about Trayvon Martin and so many other people who have gotten killed but not gotten justice. And I think the fact that it's been it's trend it's been trending for a week and it's starting to die down. But that doesn't mean that the movement is done like you shouldn't just be done after a week because if that happens it's just going to be a cycle all over again and it's going to keep on happening and that scares me especially it doesn't scare me like it scares me more for my brother because he's about to go to college and he's been racially profiled at a gas station right by my house and when my dad called me and told me that that happened it made me mad because I'm like, my brother is the nicest person in the whole world. And for someone to just judge him, he was just trying to find gloves at a gas station. And someone, the lady was like, oh, you're stealing, are you stealing or don't be stealing anything? And I was like, like, why? It doesn't make sense to me. And people think that we're so far away from the civil rights movement, but it's not, it hasn't even been a hundred years since the civil rights movement happened. And it's still had like, this shouldn't still be happening, but it is. And our, like our grandparents remember the civil rights movement. It's not that long ago. (laughs) And I remember my great aunt, she told me, she was like, yeah, I remember when Emmett Till was lynched. And I was like, yeah, they're like the people who were probably lynching him are still alive and still teaching. And I think people need to learn that racism is taught. And once we can break that cycle of it being taught in the families, then this world will be so much better. So. <laughs>